Merely days after news outlets across the border reported that the Indian Cricket Board was open to sending their national team to Pakistan for the Asia Cup next year, BCCI Secretary Jay Shah has snuffed out whatever hopes there had been for the two rival nations finally moving to restore the sporting ties. Jay Shah, who is the son of Indian Home Minister Amit Shah, seemed to be regurgitating BGP policy when he said, we can't go there and they can't come here. Now the PCB, rightly miffed at the BCCI decision, is reportedly considering taking reciprocal measures which may include withdrawal from the 2023 ODI World Cup being hosted by India as well as from its membership of the Asian Cricket Council. This is terrible for the sport but the PCB's hand is being forced. It cannot stand idly by as India uses its clout to bend the international cricketing community to its will. For the longest time, cricket has been a medium through which countries have revived, maintained and improved their relationships with rivals. The practice has been described as cricket diplomacy. The most memorable examples of it in our context are Ziaulak using the excuse of a cricket match to visit India in 1987 to defuse a brewing crisis and Pervez Musharraf's fruitful 2005 visit to India on a similar pretext. Times have, however, changed for the worse. Instead of heads of government interacting over the shared love of the game to sort out political issues, Pakistan and India now refuse to play each other unless it's absolutely necessary. It is interesting to note that the few games that the two teams have played have brought the people of both nations closer. There is now considerable mutual respect given the quality of both sides. It is quite common to see Pakistani fans expressing admiration for Indian cricket stars on discussion forum online and Indian fans reciprocating the same sentiment. Even our cricketers, both men and women, regularly share heartwarming moments on and off the field. It is clear that the people of both countries would like nothing better than to witness each other's champions in action. And it is tragic that Indian politics is denying them the opportunity to do so in front of home crowds. The Indian government must reconsider its decision and give peace a chance. A restart in cricketing ties can be a solid confidence-building measure that can open the doors to engagement on other outstanding matches as well. The people of the two countries should be facilitated in interacting with each other and sharing their love for the game. Helping them enjoy cricket together will help lay the ground for a dumpster of broader talks, hopefully ease visa restrictions and lead to improved diplomatic relations between the two countries. It is precisely what two nuclear-armed neighbours need in these uncertain and fraught times.